So we thought we'd um, collaborate musically and I was really excited about that idea. Um, Stephen suggested Paul Mack and I thought, oh wow, that's great. I think we just wanted to really charge in a different sort of electronic way this time and see how that how that would um, pan out. And look, I um, Paul Mac's always you know we've always wanted to work together. I mean, I, I think Paul Mac, uh, we were you know, ten years ago we were trying to work together, and um, and it just became a, a great open creative window for him to um, explore these ideas with us. And him and David had a bit of a meeting the other day, and their egos got on, so that's good. <laughs> um, part of the reason why I took this job on is um, it just sounded really exciting creatively. Um, but you know, like last year I did a film score. This year working for dance is like I'm still I'm learning how to write music for dance, kind of through this project because you have to think completely differently. You're not thinking in terms of a three and a half minute pop song, or, or you're not thinking in terms of a six minute remix. I've been talking to Dan and Stephen and David about what what they actually want. And, and David's music touches into melodies and rhythms and, and popular sounds versus soundscape and sonic sounds and then real traditional music. And Jakapura came down and did some recording with me and Dan's very, very excited and, you know, he's eager to use the sounds from Yakala, you know, which we have that association for, we've had that association with, with Jakapura for a very long time, you know, he's the source, so he's the... You know, he's the, the spark plug, basically, to giving Bangara its, its, its style. Okay, rolling. But you've got to sort of be clever with Bangara to keep it on track of what the essence is of Bangara, what the sound is and what the style is and, you know, the energy of it to keep, you know, to keep that, that flavour and that, um, you know, what we've created over the years is that energy and, and that's taken a long time. So it's kind of like at the moment I'm just coming up with uh, you know, blocks of rhythms and ideas and then they'll be broken down into sort of pieces and then from those pieces we can um, start rearranging them to suit the choreography that's reacting from them. So it's, it's, it's really exciting for me. And just handing Paul the, you know, the vocals of Jakapura and then he'll come back and bring it, you know, it'll come back completely <laughs> different. <laughs> and which is the, the intention, you know, we want you want the sound to be different, but and Jakapura gives us that, that license to do that, so that's a beautiful thing. In conjunction with David and uh, Dan and Stephen, the idea is um, to start off with those sort of ground pieces, give them to the boys, and they can choreograph, and then with once they react to the pieces, then we can adjust the music to react to the choreography. So for me, it's a total learning experience, a learning experience of kind of A, how you start it off, and then B, how you develop it and, and watch it interact with the choreography. Is it an advantage or not, um, not being Aboriginal? I think, I think the main thing that I'm concerned about with what I'm doing is that I respect what is given to me and I don't take anything out of context. So, for example, um, David gave me some spoken word from um, initiation ceremony um, and I, you know, normally if I was doing a remix, I'd just get whatever sounds good and rebuild that into something new, but I'm being very careful not to, because I don't speak language, to, um, to make sure I don't cut anything up and put it out of context. So I'm using whole slabs of text so that I don't actually do anything really insulting or disrespectful. So I suppose that's one disadvantage is not knowing the culture. So I'm, um, I've just got to be careful with what I'm doing, but one advantage, uh, is I think I'm adding a, a fresh perspective on what, you know, what beats and electronics can be and giving back to the, to the culture to sort of see how that can interact, I think. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I was saying yesterday, just to do it that way, let him yarn, translate. Mm. Then when we want to use the, um, when we want to use the, <laughs> that 
That's his phone. Hello. It's piano. Hey, how are you?